Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down in nitty gritty under 10 minutes. And if it goes over 10 minutes, it's something very, very, very important. And not important to liberals, libertas, people who believe in God, people who like to smoke, people who like to drink, people who like to ayahuasca, people like DMT. Listener's discretion is advised. Listener's discretion is advised. I'm your friendly neighborhood schizologist, and there's no one like me on the internet. But as cringy as I am, or as cringy as I look, get the hell out of here, because I do not prescribe to subscribers. So if you want my services personally, you can just check out my credentials down below, because you know how it is with YouTube algorithms and shit. I don't have to deal with that bullshit, because I can do other things on the side. I got things on my plate. But other than that, in the meantime, I want you to understand what this video is going to be about. This video is going to be about women and electronics. Now, I probably made it in Marcus Nas 3 before that got taken down. Um, understand this. Keep women away from your electronics. They're not technologically savvy. They're not. Even with games and shit. They're not really technologically. And, of course, they're not very, uh, you know, mental, you know, when it comes to games. To be simple, okay? Um, please check my credentials down below. And why I say this, because every time I'll have something like an electronic or a game system or something like that, TV or something like that, and somehow I'll let my girl use the goddamn TV or she'll touch it and next thing you know, something go wrong. That's when you know that particular type of female is not supposed to touch. Not supposed to touch electronics at all. All right? And, and, and also, I want you guys to understand that I'm not going to talk about no pseudoscience and no tech talent, tech talent, technology to be technical about anything. I just don't recommend, guys, allowing your woman to be too, uh, to touch your electronics. So if you really care about your electronics, and I know there's some guys out there like me, okay? And of course, we already know, you know, there's guys out there who, who agree with me. I'm not talking about you guys. Oh, I've never had that experience before. So I don't really give a fuck about that. I'm talking about my experiences. I learned that by letting females touch electronics. Video game wise or playing. As a matter of fact, you can test this out yourself. Give your girl a game that you beat. You know how hard it is for her to even try to beat that goddamn game. It'll take her eons of times. She'll probably die a thousand times or a hundred times. Women are not gamers. And women are not funny overall. As I said before, I'm not hating on women when I sound like that. I'm just telling the straight up truth because that's just who I am. I like to talk about multiple subjects, not just one thing. Also, I want you guys to understand something here. Um, look at this. Look at this right here. They say Kelly Blue Book is better, okay? But they don't have no magazine. So you may have to order the magazine to check and, and purchase really good cars. You don't have to be a tech te technician to understand what quality cars are worth your time. Anything I talk about is worth your time. Trust me, it is. And I'm just trying to help you out. So there'll be some haters. I don't care about the haters. This is what I don't like when people watch my videos. Most people are haters or they'll try to uh, say something, some bullshit, but they don't understand that I'm not your average man. I'm not your Peter man. So Kelly Blue Book is the winner because actually Kelly Blue Book was actually existed way in 1929. That's when they started. And Consumer Reports started in 1939. Isn't that something? Um, I just did some research on that and I found that. And I said, okay. I had a little dispute with my, my, my teacher a long time ago in 2011 about this. I was like, I thought Consumer Report was the best, you know, but I guess to each his own. Okay? You just do the research yourself. Get those two magazines if you can. I think Kelly Blue Book do probably have a, you know, magazine. You just have to order it. But every time I go into the supermarket, I see Consumer Reports sitting up there. Okay, I don't see Kelly Blue Book. Okay, so they should start putting magazines up there. You know. But other than that, that's what this video is. About. This video is about uh, beware of women in your electronics, guns, or any type of motherfucking thing because they'll break. Because I remember I got a PS2. I came home one day. Next thing you know, the motherfucking system's not working. She said something's not working. I said, what did you do? Okay, what the fuck did you do? I had this shit for like three, four, five years and shit. So I, I still got my super, I got my Super Num 64. I got my Nintendo 64. I still got my shit. I still got my old school Nintendos. And so, 
I don't let no female touch it. That's like, hey, 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 hey. I be like, no, 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 no. And another thing too, you know, I t sometimes I, t I taught my, I tried to teach my lady to drive, right? And I think she had the ghost hand, and the car just wiggled to the side or some shit. You never heard of the ghost hand before? When it's like something's controlling the wheel, I said, well, why did you make that that herky jerk move? It's like, it's women get in accidents more than men, so we should already know that when they get their license, they get a pat on the back because they're your female, right? And um, that's just not fair. And that's why we have all these accidents because people just being too lenient. There's no discipline no more. So whenever there's no more discipline, guess what happens? Who suffers? The people suffer more, all right? So other than that, that's all I really wanted to say because I got to go pick up my daughters and shit. I'm over here. Let me see. Come on over here. Get this. What else is there to say about that? Don't trust women with electronics. Don't trust women when it comes to relationships. Make sure you charge them bitches to the game. Okay, all right? Can you see my face? You think I'm joking? I don't play games with women. I started learning that shit when I was like fucking 20 something years old. 20. Let me see. Yeah, 20 something years old. And that's why I learned from the pimps and stuff. I think I think I learned that from before, before I was 20, I learned some things from pimps and some Italians and shit. But other than that, that's all I really wanted to say, guys. I hope you can learn something from my videos. Yeah, as little as it is, under 10 minutes, okay? What else is there? Is there some sort of connection? Why women fuck up electronics? I don't know what it is. It's just that for every girl I've ever dealt with, I say, yeah, turn it on. And then I'll see some sort of fucking problem on the screen, like, which I never saw before. Have that ever happened to you guys before? And like, it's women and children. I remember my, I, I caught my daughter about to stick a penny in my PlayStation 3. And I'm like, I just caught her. Just came around the corner. Okay? And every TV I fucking had, I had two TVs, I had two little small little TVs, and yeah, I got broke. Because my daughter, okay? My daughter is fucking young, okay? But other than that, that's all I really wanted to say, you guys. And you keep you keep it you keep it inky dinky, okay? You keep it peaceful, okay? And that's all I really want to say, okay? You know, keep your women away from electronics, keep your kids away from them, because it's not really wise. Anyone who has the same experiences, write it down below. Um, I monitor all my my, my videos, I, I monitor all my comments and everything, and I approve of them. Even if you make fun of me or make fun, I don't care. I'll, I'll post it if it's funny. And some guy made fun of me and shit. The most funniest post I ever read that you look like a goddamn an alien with with a tick on your face or some shit. And I was laughing. That shit was funny, okay? This is, no, this is a mole, not a tick. A blood tick. He said, that's a blood tick on your face. What is that? Why don't you get it removed? I said, nah, nah, I'd rather not. And that's who I am. That's my signature of who I am. Because I'm real confident in who I am. I don't have to worry about changing my imagery for anybody because my conversation is fucking fire, right? So what the fuck, man? You know, I talk to so many people in my inbox, so I basically have to get them off sometimes because they're trying to steal information from me without setting up a no appointment. So I do streams, though. I still do streams. You can check my other Mothius knowledge so the other streams that I do. Yeah, let me turn this car off. And other than that, let me see what my next video is going to be about. So I already told you the reasons why not to let women and children near your electronics. I talked to you about the fucking uh, Consumer Report. Consumer Report. And, and they say Kelly, Kelly Blue Book's better, but I haven't seen no magazines. And my next my, my, my next video is going to be about our why religion is necessary. Okay, it's a greater evil for a greater good. But other than that, I'm also going to talk about why everything is a theory. And um, um, why some great evils are for a greater good. Being content, uh, the world revolves around you. Okay, I wrote, I, wrote, I wrote things down. Other than that, I'm out of here, you guys. I hope you learned something because I'm not Joe Eric, man. I'm not Joe Eric, man. I'm out of here. Peace.